Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat for Career Mode. I hope you're all having a great day. Today we have Atlanta, the second race of the season, fresh off of the Daytona 500. But first we have the Xfinity Series, where we had subscriber and moderator, actually, of RJ Bishop in our cars. He went down towards the turns one, starting towards the back of the pack, obviously, at the beginning of this season. The uh, car isn't going to be very good, so obviously we're going to have to work on that as the season continues on. So we aren't really expecting very good finishes at all at the beginning of this season, probably in the 30s for the most part as RJ came out of turn four and he was running in the uh, 30s for the majority of this race as he came through now to the final lap passing Austin Hill there in the 61 as he came through turns three and on the exit of turns four actually getting pushed from behind there just about by Joey Gase as it would come through making contact across the line but RJ would hold on to the position and actually climb all the way up to P26 so we had actually gotten a pretty solid finish out of that as Noah Gregson did win the race so now it's obviously time to go to the Cup Series for qualifying here as we have the Aeros paint scheme on our car for this race as we came through, coming through to cross the line. Uh, it was a 29.614, and that goes P20 for us. So certainly some work to do here today at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Uh, hopefully we can move our way forwards and have a strong top 10 run. And on the pole, we got Kyle Busch. Welcome to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the running of the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. This is a mile and a half oval and a very popular stop for the fans and a handful for the drivers. Let's head on down to the track and get set to go racing. All right, thank you, Rick Allen. We're ready to go green here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Parker Kligerman is a friend. Actually, I forgot to turn draft partners off, so that might get a little bit interesting here in Atlanta. Kyle Busch on the pole. Ryan Priest starting at the back after an engine change uh, after the qualifying session uh, came through and completed. Now as we get ready to go green here in Atlanta, Jimmy Johnson on our inside looking to make the playoffs here this season as he missed it last season. And our career mode is the green flag is on Atlanta Motor Speedway is underway here today as we are green here from the 20th starting position behind us we have the 42 of kyle larson he is still a rival from last season doing what we can to get him away from that rival status but man it is tough and the rival system in this game still needs work it's really the same as nascar heat 3 and it wasn't good enough in nascar heat 3 so that's one of my biggest annoyances i think in nascar heat 4 still is just the rival system other than that i've had a great time playing this game now as we come through turns 3 and turns 4 dropping now to that 22nd position actually as we head down this front straight away here on our outside of our teammate of eric Almarola, as he certainly kind of struggling at the start of this race just like us not showing a lot of speed here today so far in Atlanta as we come through turns one and turns two we would actually move our way forward though up to p17 at this point now as we came to lap seven and it certainly seemed like as the tires started to wear that it was starting to play into my favor which we've seen quite a few times uh, in this uh, career mode and sometimes it doesn't uh, work in our favor at all it works against us but Jimmy Johnson he had actually continued moving his way forward as we got up to p15 this is actually a spin behind us already Joey Gase has gone spinning gets hit by Brendan gone that was pretty heavy contact as that caution would be brought out here on lap nine so we would have to come to the pit lane for two cans of fuel and four tires brad kozlowski at this point leading the way as this would set us up for our first restart of this race here in atlanta now as the green flag is back up once again we are underway brad kozlowski leads away joey gase is out of the race early on here with now just eight laps to go in this first and opening stage at atlanta as we go down towards turns one behind big stanos jr the number 17 car as uh, now we haven't actually gotten any stage points so far this season obviously only one race in there is jimmy johnson he's up the middle three wide not a good restart for the 48 cars we go down this back straight away actually getting into that outside wall a little bit there as we go down in it towards turn three kozlowski looking like he's got a very strong car today now has come through the center of the corner but it certainly didn't feel like we had very good short run speed in this car so i was a little bit concerned by that now is daniel hammer just going to give us a shove down the straightaway like i said i forgot to turn draft partners off for this race so hopefully that doesn't uh, become an issue as we go down towards turns one he's going to go up the outside uh, but we are able to stay clear of Hammer as we come through the center of the corner. We close right on the back there of the 31 of, Ryan, of Tyler Reddick there as we nearly clean out the 17 of Ricky Stanos Jr. Thankfully, he would save it, and we would continue running down here in about P16 or so. Jimmy Johnson uh, had actually gotten back in front of me. We had run down Chase Elliott and him. Those who came through turns one and turns two. This is now the final lap of the first stage as we went down this back straight away for the final time side by side here with Chase Elliott in the number nine. As we go down through turns three and turn four, you see me all the way up by the wall there as we come through the center of the corner, but not enough. 
enough momentum is built up and Chase Elliott will hang on to the position. So not a very good first stage for us at all as you would come through to finish in P16 here for stage one. So definitely uh, not what we had wanted. And I, I certainly felt like we had a car uh, capable of doing better than that, especially at least on the uh, long run. So hopefully we can figure something out here as you would come to the pit lane. And you see me actually make uh, a little bit of a wedge adjustment. The car felt a little bit too loose. Uh, so I decided to turn the wedge up just a little bit and hopefully that will tighten up the car like we need it to be as we get ready to go green here for stage two from P14. Blaney and Stenos in front of us as the green flag is back out. And once again, we are underway here for now the beginning of the second stage, the middle stage here at Atlanta now with 18 laps in this second stage. So definitely some time to move our way forwards and potentially get a top 10 here in this stage. Like I said, uh, we didn't have any stage points in Daytona. First stage here today in Atlanta, no stage points. So hopefully we can change that here. We don't want to don't want to go the first two races of the season without any stage points now as we go down towards turn three trying to look up the inside of Ricky Stenos Jr. but he barely stays clear as we come through the center of the corner but now we get back to his inside as we exit turn four heading down the front straightaway three wide up the middle in front of us and we're in the middle of a three wide as we push Hamlin across that line as we go down towards the turns one Jimmy Johnson now settling in just behind me as we get right down towards that yellow line now behind the three of Austin Dillon now as Johnson's going to give us a shove on the exit of the corners we're going to get to the back there of the 11 of Hamlin a big stack up in front of us as we go down this back straightaway towards the turn three behind the eight of Hamrick now in front of the 47 of Priest who gives us a huge hit into turn three and we're gonna get pushed on the apron and spinning we go sideways we nearly hang on to it now as we go towards the inside wall we keep it off the wall but we spin the car out and then the no caution comes out now as I get back on the track here and then now the caution comes out here in Atlanta now as I actually kind of angled the car right a little bit to hope that the caution would come out but as I started to turn back on the track I didn't think they were gonna throw it but all of a sudden the 40 seven just slams me in the back bumper and he just kept pushing so there is the downside of forgetting to turn draft partners off as this is a big setback here in the second stage we're gonna have some work to do now to move our way forwards obviously i decided since we're in the back we might as well pit and take two kens feel and four tires and there is a potential possibility that if it stays green for the rest of the stage everyone in front of us might have to make a pit stop and then we don't so we could actually somehow still have a chance to win this stage here in atlanta now, obviously, I was just really wanting to get up to that top lane. You're really able to make the top work at this track here, uh, thankfully, in Heat 4. As you can make it work sometimes in Heat 3. But like I said, I would actually let the 52 go and get up to that top lane. And we would start to move our way forwards with these four fresh tires. Uh, now up inside the top 30 as we hit 9 to go in this second stage as we went down towards turns 1 and turns 2. Now passing Truex here on the outside. A very aggressive move there. There wasn't a whole lot of room. But I made it work as we went down the back straightaway. Now passing Truex for P21. And now as we came came through on lap 15 of 18 in the second stage up inside the top 20 p19 some cars starting to come into the pit lane chris bush was the notable one there but the caution would come out and the stage would come to an end a few laps early as i was hoping it was going to stay green but now we get credited with i think it was p18 here in the second stage so we would have to come to the pit lane again for two cans of fuel as well as four tires and get ready to go green we will have to make a green flag pit stop if it stays green here for the third and final stage now is where you're once again underway stage three is green here in Atlanta. We gain two positions on the pit lane, so we're P16 here with 40 laps to go as we go down towards turns one behind the 47 of Ryan Priest, guy that who took us out uh, a little bit ago here earlier in that second stage. I didn't have any intentions of uh, giving him any type of revenge, though. It was just kind of one of those uh, wild restart moments here that we sometimes see in NASCAR Heat 4s go down this back straightaway, actually getting ahead of the 47 of Ryan Priest as he went down towards turn 3. Atlanta, certainly one of the more better tracks, I think, for restarts in this game because it's a, a track where you can go full throttle the whole time, which is kind of weird. Most mile and a half in this game, you can't go full throttle, but Atlanta, the track where I really didn't expect you could go full throttle, you can because obviously the tire wear, uh, the, the bumpiness of the track how worn out the surfaces you think you'd be out of the throttle more as we actually got into the wall there as we came through turns one and turns two now the 47 up the inside as he would get clear as Almarola tries to fight back as well on my inside as we go down towards turns three and turns four Kevin Harvick at this point leading the race as he was in a side-by-side -side battle for the lead but Kurt Busch would actually take over that front position as we came through now on lap 44 starting to fight our way forwards here as we come through making some moves on the inside now as we came through on lap 47 passing Chase Elliott in the nine as well as passing Austin Dillon in the three so now we're up to p12 as we go down this back straightaway so moving forwards pretty quickly here in the later stages of this race here in atlanta motor speedway 
And as we came through now on lap 51 of 81, we had run down the next group of cars, Jimmy Johnson, Ryan Blaney, Alex Bowman, and Denny Hamlin. As the longer the run went on, the stronger our car definitely was. As we get right to the back of the 48 of Jimmy Johnson, as he's having a strong run today here in the 11th position, as Johnson looks to the inside of Blaney for 10th as we come through turn 3, and on the exit of turns 4, we're going to get aggressive again and look to the outside, make it 3 wide with Blaney. And the 48 cars have come through the uh, trial now as we go down towards the turns 1. At this point, 30 to go, so we would get ahead of them and now be battling with Bowman, but we got to the wall there on the exit of turn two, so we still run P10 as we got past the 48 and whatnot, but now the tire icon's coming on, some drivers making some green flag pit stops here any moment as we come through turns three and turns four, there's the 88, he gets into the pit lane, as well as a handful of other cars, so we come through now on lap 55, it was our turn to come to the pit lane, myself, Hamlin, Larson, you see up ahead, Jimmy Johnson behind us, as we actually nearly overtake Hamlin into the pit lane, but couldn't quite make it happen, as it was a pretty straightforward two cans of fuel for a tire pit stop here, and if it stays green to the end of this race, or maybe a caution comes out at a certain time, there's still time uh, to make another green flag pit stop if everything goes uh, in a certain way. So this might be the first one of two now as we come through on the exit uh, behind the 42 of Kyle Larson. So we came in behind Hamlin just barely, but we come out just ahead of the 11 of Danny Hamlin here on the exit of pit road. So obviously get back on to the track here in Atlanta. Obviously, uh, we're starting to move our way forwards later in this race. We're now P9 as we came through. Now there's trouble ahead here on lap 37, though. The 42 is spinning into the turn three, and he goes hard into the outside while Kyle Larson must have blown a tire or something, and he is out of the race here in Atlanta Motor Speedway. So obviously we get set up for a late race uh, restart here with just over 20 laps to go. The green flag is back out. No one came into the pit lane. So we restart P8 here with 21 laps to go. Harvick and Keselowski up front, dueling it out as we go down towards turns one. Kurt Busch in that third position, and his brother Kyle Busch behind him as we come through the center of the corner. Harvick is pushing up the track a little bit now as we exit turn two, heading down this back straightaway. Ty Dillon up our inside. He's having a strong run right now in P10, and his brother Austin Dillon, P11, just behind us as we go down into this third turn. Kurt Busch, though, looks to the inside of Kevin Harvick, and he is going to take the lead here in Atlanta as we exit turn four, heading down this front straightaway com coming through to complete the opening lap of this restart now. 20 laps to go in Atlanta now as Hamlin and Logano battle side by side. They have a bit of history now as we came to lap 67. We'd actually jumped down to P9. You saw there that Kurt Busch had actually come to the pit lane. Uh, I forgot to mention he was actually blowing up so he was out of the race as I caught that just as it was developing there as we came through turns 1 and 2. So like I said, we're still running P9 at this point as we were coming through once again. Green flag pit stops happening here on lap 71 of 81 hitting 10 laps to go and Kurt Busch, he had actually gotten back on the track and he was blowing by everyone. Like I said, he took the lead, then he blew up and here he is just driving right on past us. But now once again, we were going to have to come to the pit lane. Lap 73, tire icon is on and drivers once again preparing to make pit stops. Here are the final pit stops of the day. The first time we've ever had two green flag pit stops in a race. Johnson and a few others are going to stay out an extra lap or so. We clear Bowman onto the pit lane and we gain a ton of time there as well as the drivers staying out. We're going to be probably getting past them so we might be all of a sudden now inside the top five when everything cycles out maybe even higher up now as we come through 8.5 seconds. It was a two uh, tire pit stop. Obviously the right sides weren't going to make it to the end of the race there as Keselowski oh, comes out ahead of us and now obviously we rejoin the track and it's looking like Kozlowski, I think, was leading, so we might actually cycle out into the second position once this is all said and done here in the final 10 laps of this race. And sure enough, come through on the exit of turn two on 76. Uh, the other guys coming through, finishing their pit stops, Johnson, Hamlin, Jones, we passed them, and we were coming through now with five to go. We had cycled through into the second position, and we were actually closing in on the two of Kozlowski pretty quick now as we come through approaching two laps to go. The tire icon for the left-hand side had come on at the point those tires were going to make it so that wasn't an issue but we continued to close in on the two of Keselowski we were actually closing in extremely fast uh, now I was thinking maybe the two didn't have tires or something because now we come through approaching the final lap less than a second between myself and the two of Keselowski looking like if we don't have a really good turns one and turns two we're probably not going to get there now but we do have a good corner and now we close in even more less than uh, half a second or so now between myself and the two of Keselowski's go down this back straight away into turns three and turns four for the final time he's got the 95 of Matt DiBenedetto right in front of him this is an opportunity now as we come through out of turns four for the final time DiBenedetto in the way but he moves up to the outside and Keselowski will hold on though to win here in Atlanta so a great uh, result for us to come back from P2 no stage points for us and we were running about ninth, 10th that whole, you know, final stage. 
and obviously everything cycled out in our favor with the pit stops there, especially at the end. Some drivers staying out, we were able to gain some time on the pit entry, and we rallied our way to get a second place finish. Another corner, we would have easily had the two of Kozlowski, and that's what I said to the media after the race. We would have had it with one more turn easily, or maybe if it was just, you know, the straightaway was longer, the finish line was down further, we might have been able to do something, but uh, a great result for us here in Atlanta. Uh, both Daytona and Atlanta stage one and two we didn't go well for us, but we got good finishes at the end out of it, and that's certainly going to be important uh, for our momentum in the future. And as always, if you guys did enjoy this episode, uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Those would all be very, very appreciated. So in the next one, we actually start the West Coast Swing at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, a track that uh, I enjoy, but it's pretty hard to run well there. So we'll see, obviously, how that one goes. Uh, obviously, the Xfinity Series and the Cup Series both in that one is we're going to take a quick look at the point standings before we end this episode. Kozlowski locked in. Castle, if he stays in the top 30, he will also be in the playoffs, but I don't think he'll stay there very long. As Stenhouse is the last guy in. So thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.